Hi everyone, and here's a devotional for Saturday, September 19th, 2020, entitled, How Much is Enough? If you forgive other people when they sin against you, your Heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. Matthew 6, 14 and 15, NIV. How much justice is enough? Picture your enemy for a moment. Picture him tied to the whipping post. The strong-armed man with the whip turns to you and asks, How many lashes? And you give a number. The whip cracks and the blood flows and the punishment is inflicted. Your foe slumps to the ground and you walk away. Are you happy now? Do you feel better? Are you at peace? Perhaps for a while, but soon another memory will surface and another lash will be needed. And when does it all stop? It stops when you take seriously the words of Jesus. For if you forgive men when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. Matthew 6, 14 and 15, NIV. Treat me as I treat my neighbor. Are you aware that this is what you are saying to your Father? Give me what I give them. Grant me the same peace I grant others. (laughs) Let me enjoy the same tolerance I offer. God will treat you the way you treat others. Would you like some peace? Then quit giving your neighbor such a a hassle. Want to enjoy God's generosity? Then let others enjoy yours. Would you like assurance that God forgives you? I think you know what you need to do. For the tough times. Yeah, I, I guess for me that's kind of a a convicting thing um this is something I'll never forget um it's it's not really my blindness it's just me I I grew up with not very good social skills and I never really learned well how to be how to communicate properly and how to to be a friend and um I used to to complain (laughs) to Rhonda and Matt you, that was back when they were married and that was like years and years ago back in the 90s I would complain because like at church at the time I didn't have very many friends and Matt Matt said you don't really act like you don't really come across like you want friends because I'm in like rejection mode and background mode and I just kind of sit there you know with you know and I don't appear eager to to have friends and so I've never been really good at that um, I can even think of recent examples of when I did that and there's like some, there's some people that could have been potential friends, but I just, cause I mean, my immediate thought is, well, people are going to reject me or not want to be friends with me or they're going to get tired of me or whatever. So I kind of just push myself into myself. So that's really not good. And, um, yeah, I need to treat people how. First of all, I need to treat people how I want to be treated, but mainly, I have to treat people how God would treat people. How would Jesus treat people? Would he just hide away and, you know, whatever? No, he wouldn't do that. He would reach out and love people, even if he was going to be rejected. And anyways, another rambling session. Sorry, guys. May the Lord bless you all and be with you till tomorrow.